And if it's only going to be for five years, then I may as well just spend a half hour to an hour tinkering with it once a year. Rainwater collection system. It's above ground and how did it do over winter? This tank is designed for above grade only. It can't be directly buried. You would have to frame a or build a basement for it essentially. Um, it was about a thousand bucks, 2,500 gallons. They're double that cost now, but that's why I went with it. This rainwater collection system is very cheap and it froze up on us this winter one time. And it only froze up for maybe 20 hours or so. And it's because I have a loop of PEX tubing in there coiled to rise and fall with the uh, water level. It's attached to a float, which is attached to that pipe, which reads the water level. And what ended up happening was the one coil, for some reason, floated towards the top and got in the ice layer. So I am going to weight that down, probably wait for the water to fall um, in the summer here. And I'll end up either shortening the, the PEX coil or weighting it down some so that it always stays below the water level. Because an inch or two of ice on the surface is not a big deal unless I get my PEX coil in it apparently. But it only happened one time this winter. And I'm hoping to have a house built within five years or so. And if that happens and I have to deal with the tank freezing up for 24 hours once a winter, there's really no need to take extra steps to uh, do anything. The right thing to do if this was permanent was to build a building around it and keep the wind off of it. That would probably be enough in this West Virginia climate. Um, but it's going to take time, money to do so. And if it's only gonna be for five years, then I may as well just spend a half hour to an hour tinkering with it once a year. It's only five hours and no financial investment into the system. So mathematically, Budget-wise, it makes more sense just to occasionally deal with it. It's not like we can't get the water. It's very easy to bust a hole in the ice and drop a second pump in there or just a hose and siphon it out. So it's a low-consequence thing if it freezes up. Last year, we ended up having weeks of uh, frozen pipe, and I was hoping that this would stay warm with the sun laying on it, but the sun wasn't always out, so it didn't happen, and we had to bust in here and get a lot of water. This year... In a hurry towards winter, I ended up building this box out of pallets. And I had some fiberglass insulation. <laughs> um, what ended up uh, happening is this just stayed warm pretty much all the time. I had a backup heater in here. I don't believe I ever needed to run it, even though I did run it once. Um, everything, the pressure tank's back there, the pump's right there. It's powered by solar. And it worked out really well, did not freeze up, and it was definitely a uh, improvement. Being directly on the ground or with ground contact, I think the ground helped keep it warm. So that's how it worked out over the winter time. I was very happy with it. It did ice up on the sides. And this, this section here actually, my pipe actually doesn't go in the bottom. It actually comes up and goes in the top. And it didn't freeze up up here but i also have heat tape excuse me should we not be digging at the door get get <laughs> ended up not freezing up um yeah i do have the heat tape which did run some it didn't run that much this actually is insulated the pipe is insulated to the side of the tank and the thermal mass from the tank i believe kept that from getting very cold at all so that's how the water system fared in the kitchen. We uh, disconnected the faucet that we have. Just a washing machine hose that goes on the frost-free spigot and connects through this in reverse and makes it all live. But it's very easy to take a different hose and connect it here. And then we could still run water here. We just used it out of this. So it worked out good. We did have this freeze up one time, and I'm not sure why it kept water up in this part. That's just some kind of random fluke I didn't understand. But other than that, I just blow this out with compressed air, and the whole water system worked out well. And we do have water in the camper and have a faucet there, which we could use 
instead of this. So hopefully I addressed all the common questions that I normally get about that. And uh, if you like this video, like, follow, subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next one.